Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Here I am. Um, I'm trying to do a little bit of a different angle today. Um, I just wanted to showcase something new, or not new to me, but something I did receive um, in the mail today, and that is a quilt, a t-shirt quilt from Project Repat. Um, this is not sponsored. This is just a company that I have used before. Um, this is my second quilt from them personally. And my mom has also used them for a t-shirt quilt. Um, so, and I have another one that I can show you. Um, the first one that I got from them. And if you are looking for a good way to um, save your t-shirts or something or sweatshirts that you have not worn or maybe can't wear anymore but maybe they have some kind of sentimental value to you or there's just something where it's like you don't want to donate it or um you want to hold on to it but you know that you'll probably never wear it again or you know it'd be a very rare occasion if you do so you're likely to just toss it in a drawer somewhere and to keep you know that ends up causing clutter because we have things that we hold on to for you know whatever reason and we may never use it or wear it or whatnot and it just builds up in our house so that's how we end up with a lot of clutter um since it is you know springtime and i am on my spring break as i mentioned before i am a teacher and this is our week off um today is monday or actually it's the wee hours of tuesday morning at this point um but i've been doing a lot of projects around the house and part of that is to declutter um, or try to declutter and organize what I do have. Um, so Project Repat, I'll get a little closer. And you'll see in a second why I was so far away. Um, this is a quilt, so I wanted to be sure that I was far enough away so that you guys could um, see it. But this is the packaging that it comes in. And I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. So cute. Um, this particular they have quilts in different sizes ranging from what they call lap size so like you know just the kind of like a throw that you would use throw size blanket to a um, king size uh, quilt so I have a twin size quilt and the one that I'm just about to reveal is a lap blanket so they have I'll explain all of that in just a second but um this is my first time looking at it too so we'll be seeing it together but this particular quilt has somewhat of a theme with um black history month and black history month t-shirts or some form of relationship to black history or maybe a black experience such as i have some t-shirts here from um my schools which were both or two of my schools which were hbcus historically black colleges universities and I also have a lot of Black History Month t-shirts that I have collected over time or that people have given me that I know I would probably not wear or at least not frequently enough to keep in my closet because, um, you know, Black History Month stuff comes out like every every year. So, um, and they're just, they're slogans and things that are very, um, very much relevant to Black History Month. So it's kind of like you wouldn't really wear it other than maybe to lounge around the house or whatnot and I already have a ton of stuff for that. So I decided to make a nice t-shirt quilt and possibly look into getting it framed um, just because this is the smaller lap size so I hope that maybe I can go to Michael's or somewhere and get it framed eventually. Um, and also speaking of frames, if you're looking at my wall, yes these posters are significant for those who don't know. Um, I am from North Carolina and I am a Carolina Panthers fan. So that is obviously when Cam Newton was our quarterback. Unfortunately, he's not anymore, but I have that poster. I actually got that when I worked at a school um, down in North Carolina and they had a um, book fair and they were, you know, they had the posters and I think it was only like a dollar or so. So I snatched it up as a fan. Um, a few years ago and then the other poster which you may not be able to see if you're not familiar with who that person is on the wall that is Trey Songs, and that is actually um, one of those posters that they put out um, when somebody has an album a new album coming out and you may see promo posters and whatnot um, when I was attending Howard University he released this particular album the album Ready which I believe was his second album 
And so these were one of the posters that they had to promote it. And so I actually was able to snag one. And so I found it recently when I was going through some old things. And I was like, oh, I happen to have a frame that I purchased for another purpose, but it actually didn't work out for that. So I was like, well, let me see if the Trey Tones poster fit and it fit perfectly. So there we have it. And there's Trey Tones on my wall. Um, so back to the t-shirt quilt. Um, this company is based out of North Carolina and again, I am from North Carolina So I like to support companies from there. I currently live in Northern Virginia Not too far away just the neighboring state um, But when I found this company or heard about the company, I didn't realize that's where it was um, This particular company comes out of Morganton, North Carolina or at least that's what the return address says on there and I want to say that the one thing about Project Repat um, is that they hire people and they allow their employees to kind of like have a stake in the company so um, they have like a little bit of ownership so that was one of the positives about Project Repat um, and I do want to grab this nice little box here so when you order um, this is the box I ordered a gift card for this particular um, quilt they do have awesome sales so i highly suggest that if you are looking at one of these and they're not having a running a special or a sale that you sign up with your email because you will get some kind of discount i think you get 15 percent just for signing up with your email um but they do run promos i think right now they might be doing a promo and you can get 40 to 50 percent off sometimes the cost of one of these quilts and you can also gift them to other people and you can get a gift card. So um, for this particular quilt, I think I purchased myself a gift card. And so when you purchase a gift card, um, they come in this nice little gift box here. And it says Project Repack T-shirt quilt. On the back it says made from your shirts and made in the USA. Um, the company has been around since 2012. And inside, of course mine is not perfect anymore because I've opened it but when you open it the gift card will be here and then the instruction booklet to tell if the person's not familiar like a little bit about the company and also you know like what to do with your how to do your shirts this is what the gift card looks like and it will say like what sorry there's a little bit of a glare um what type of quilts on this case this was for a lap quilt so you know like what size quilt you have um, and on the back, it has a, the code. This code is already being used. Um, it's what I used to purchase this quilt. And it tells you, you know, that the voucher is valid for a lap size t-shirt quilt. It can't be used for shipping add-ons or combined with other discounts or offers. But um, the person who buys the gift card or if you buy one for yourself, um, you buy it for just the cost of the, the quilt. So, um, let's see. This tells you a little bit about the t-shirt quilts and it's kind of like just telling you why they're great. Um, I'm just trying to see any important things here. Um, they talk about the social and environmental impact of um, t-shirts like when we just toss them and don't reuse them um, or upcycle them in any way. 5% um, of trash on earth is used textiles. The average American trash is 65 pounds of clothing per year. Um, scrap happy, what happens to the rest of the shirt that doesn't get used? We send the scraps to a facility that recycles them into new products. So that is what they do with the rest of your t-shirts, like the parts of your t-shirt that they don't use. Um, and it says here also, for those people who are super into, um, you know, places that pay fair wages and all of that, because I know that's been a big issue lately, especially with fast fashion companies. Um, it says here that your blanket was carefully crafted by designers, cutters, and sewers, earning a fair and living wage in the United States. So they definitely want to make that clear um, that their employees are earning a fair and living wage. And um, they talk about the two centers. The um, There's a worker-owned cut and sew company. That's the company in North Carolina. Um, that is called Opportunity Threads, and in Fall River, Massachusetts, they do have a Precision Sportswear, which is the Lean Manufacturing Cut and Sew Company. Um, the, I'll focus on the one in North Carolina since that's where my quilt came from. Um, they just want to note that um, 
Each worker at Opportunity Threads is part of a collaborative working model where each employee adds input to the production process and has the opportunity to earn an ownership stake in the company. So I just wanted to point that out because um, the company is, you know, not only do they help you with upcycling your t-shirt, you know, reusing it and saving the planet from extra waste, but they also um, are helping others. So when you support this company, you are supporting others. You're helping people get a fair and working wage, and you're also saving the planet. So um, those are all things that are perks for, you know, shopping with Project Repat. Um, so let's get to the main event, which is the quilt. All right, so that's why I kind of had this thing rolled because I wanted to be able to um, unfold and show you the quilt. Oh my gosh, it feels so soft. So um, what you do when you select your quilt, they have two what they call panel sizes, and I'll talk about what those are in just a second. Um, the panels are essentially the, um, the sh this part, um, this is considered a panel, um, and with the panels, you can get a 12 by 12 size, which is like the regular size, or you can upgrade to the 14 by 14 if you have like shirts with larger images on it. Um, or that take up more of the shirt, then they recommend the 14 by 14. And they do give all the information on the website and they kind of tell you like what your graphic will look, you know, if you have this type of shirt um, with these type of graphics, we recommend this size versus the other size. Um, and they will cut and trim, you know, but they don't like to cut your shirts too much. So like, for example, when I sit in this one, I think I have sent it off for the original 12 by 12, but because a lot of, my shirts in this particular order had larger fonts and graphics and whatnot um they took up more of the shirt they recommended the 14 by 14 panel so i did have to pay about 15 dollars extra for the upgrade but you know it's worth it because i have a beautiful quilt which i will share with you in just a second um and you do pick so on the back it's a nice soft kind of felt color and you get to pick what color you want they have quite a few shades um i'll show you my other quilt i selected blue for the back of that one this one i went with black since you know like i said most of the theme on here is black history or something related to um african-american culture so um i went with black and as you can see i'll try and hold it up the best way possible so that you can see as much of the quilt they do a great job um I don't know if I'll end up framing this because it feels so cozy. I may just use it to curl up with. Um, let me see if I can get a little closer. This isn't, I know you can't see the whole thing, but you can get a good idea. Um, and I'm trying to take maybe some pictures. So if you check out my blog, I have some photos on there of, you know, the quilt, some still shots of it. But it is so cozy and so comfortable feeling. I want to go curl up with it right now because I am kind of sleepy. Um, I have been putting in work, spring cleaning, and putting some things together in another video that you'll see later um, when I get everything done. So just to talk about what's on this panel, like I said, um, so when it comes to panels, your t-shirt counts as two panels, or can count as two panels. You will cut your shirt in half, essentially. Um, and so the front side would be considered one panel and the back side would be considered one panel. Now you do not have to use the front and back of the same shirt. If say your shirt only has graphics on the front and you only want to use like the front, then that means that each front shirt counts as one panel. So if you, for this particular shirt, um, for this particular size, sorry, this is a four by four size, um, so four panels by four panels. So for a total of 16 panels or 16 frames. So I was able to use, um, I could have used a total of 16 shirts if I was doing front or back, or I could use um, eight shirts um, if I was using the front and the back for each shirt. But since I, I did just the front for the most part, I think most of these shirts only had front graphics so um i was able to use more shirts which is a good thing um and in some cases i didn't even have that many panels um i just used the back so you can see it's just a solid color now i did not tell them how to arrange the panels however that is an option you can tell 
um, you can send a note or add a notation and say like if you want them in a certain order I think there might be a small charge for that and when I say small it's like maybe five bucks or something if that I'm not 100% sure because I haven't used that before but um, because I, I'm personally one of those people who I value their work um, and it doesn't mean you don't value it if you tell them because you may want a certain order but I mean I know that they do good work so I trust them to make it look you know however they think it looks good um, and I am very pleased with my product right now um, and like I said this is my second time ordering from them so I will show you the first the other one in a minute the first one I ordered was a twin size um, and again this is the lap size which is a um, 16 panel or a 4x4 four four size blanket is considered the lap size quilt um, and then I will show you my first one which is my twin size um, and the twin size one like I said I, cho I chose blue for my felt um, or for my back you know covering this would be the side that obviously you would have against your body for the most part um, and your shirt side would be the, the outside of your blanket um, now this one is the 12 by 12 panel size um, and like I said, the lap, lap quilt here is the 14 by 14. So slightly smaller panels here, as you can see. And again, I'll try and take, I know I have on my Instagram still shots of this one because I was, um, you know, this is my first time and I was so happy with it. Um, this one is almost like a story of my life a little bit. Um, I have shirts that go all the way back from to middle school actually a couple of them most of them high school and up and I'm you know in my third mid 30s now so I've had those shirts for quite a while and surprisingly some of them I could still wear um, especially the one from high school a few of them I could still wear and some of them um, they were a little snug but I could still get them on so that's why I decided to turn them into um, a t-shirt quilt because those are all things that do tell the story of either extracurricular activities I was in, um, schools that I attended, um, dance, I was a dancer. So my dance uh, recital, we had a shirt every year that had um, the theme for that year for the recital, as well as all of um, the dancers' names in the entire school dance school. So I have a few of those on there, like the one from my last year. Um, I had that, which was also the 10th year of my particular teacher having her business so it was a kind of a big deal for that year and it has to be our last year and then um of course the year of um september 11th was in 2001 but we had um my recital was in may of 2002 so we our theme that year was united we dance and of course that did pay tribute um to some of the things that happened uh, because of september 11th so those were all things that stood out um, for me. And then again, just being a dancer, I have some other shirts. I have a lot of my alumni shirts from college. I have volleyball camp that I attended, basketball camp, um, some some games that I went to, robbery, big deal robbery, uh, championship type games, um, or bowl games for football. And so I have some shirts that are memories from that as well. Um, but mostly you'll see my uh, schools like East Carolina here, um, Power and a &T. So all of those things and a few, you know, at one point in my life I was fit and I actually have, this is a middle school piece right here. Um, the, I did get the Presidential Physical Fitness Award. If you guys remember um, those things, I think they still do that in school now where you have to do in PE, you have to be able to like run a certain amount of laps or laps in a certain amount of time do certain like exercises sit-ups whatever and all that and qualify so at one point i was very fit and very much in shape don't think i would get that award right now but um we'll work on that so just so you can see i like i said i have purchased two quilts from them um project repat and i'm very happy with both products um they are very soft the other the felt side is super soft I washed my shirts before I sent them in and that way I made sure that they were nice and crisp 
you don't have to. Um, however, I would probably recommend it, especially if they are shirts that have been, you know, in a closet or wherever for a long period of time, just so that they're fresh when you um, get your quilt. I think they do steam it or iron it because everything is not, it's never wrinkled when you get your quilt back. But I have to say, like, I'm going to take a while probably after I finish this video and just look at this new quilt because they did a great, a really great job. Um, and I had kind of forgotten some of what I sent in. Um, usually it doesn't take too long. When I sent my first quilt, um, I had gotten the, the, the gift card as like a Christmas gift, I think. And I sent it off in January and I was thinking, oh, it might take a while because, you know, holidays, um, you know, it might be a little busy. But I actually got it back probably in less than a month. This time I did send it off in February, probably like mid to the end. I really don't remember when. Um, and yeah, it still took probably within a month's time, which is the average time frame. If you go on the website, they'll tell you four to six weeks is about the standard time. And both times I've received my uh, quilt within that time frame. So again, you know, that's just if you're thinking ahead for a gift, they make great graduation gifts, you know, to put things together for kids who are either graduating high school or college to do something similar like what I did with my first quilt. You know, you could put all their t-shirts together and they could take that off to college. Um, when you go on the website, you'll see tons of ideas for that. Um, but yeah, I just want to get on here and showcase this particular company because one, they stand for something that is, you know, positive and good. They're from my home state of North Carolina or, or based in my home state of North Carolina. Um, and they give back to the community. It helps save the environment and it makes a cute and wonderful gift and it's a great way to declutter given that this is springtime and a lot of people are you know spring cleaning i just thought i would pop on here and give you guys a suggestion for saving or either you figuring out a way to utilize um those t-shirts that you may have around the house that like i said you know that you probably would never wear them again but they mean something to you you know if they're your school former school t-shirts or you know sports shirts or sports teams whatever it is um they represent something and you don't want to get rid of them but at the same time they're just kind of taking up space because you're not wearing them um, on a regular basis so this is a great way to preserve your memories and also um you know have a nice cozy blanket um or even a display you know you could easily pin this on a wall or like i said i thought about framing this but now i'm excited about curling up with it so i don't know if framing it's going to happen but maybe you know when i purchase a house that might be a a thing but i am fully satisfied um like i said check them out they do have discounts running like all the time they do specials and sales you can get anywhere from 40 to 50 percent off um so i highly recommend that you sign up using your email and like i said you do get 15 percent off just for signing up um and i believe you do get a percentage off i want to say 15 percent sometimes if you refer a person um refer a friend so that's kind of like your your um bonus for referring somebody else to project we pat so i will definitely um highly recommend them they are pretty affordable i don't remember all the prices off top but i because like i said i purchased this one when it was a sale so i didn't pay for retail um i would highly suggest that unless you need it you know right away and you don't have time to wait for a sale that you probably wait for a sale because it's almost every holiday they have a sale and then they just randomly have sales as well um i would say at least once a month there's some kind of promo going on um and like i said if nothing else you get the 15 percent off just for signing up um with your email on their website so our link i will put the website down below i am not affiliated with them not sponsored by them just sharing as someone who has used the product and you know thought it was a really cool neat way to do a little spring cleaning and to give yourself a nice um gift here to preserve your t-shirts so again this is project repats t-shirt quilt and um you mail in the shirts i don't know if i mentioned that um so you cut up the shirts you pick out the shirts that you want you cut up the shirts you mail them off you do have to pay for shipping um i use the priority mail um i think now they have upgraded where you can print a label from their website 
and that way you've already paid for shipping so once you print that label off you send it in and they send it back to you. you don't have to pay for shipping twice once you pay for shipping one time that's it um, and I think I paid roughly like 14 or 15 bucks for it but it was priority shipping um, and it also provides tracking so you know when your shirts you know arrive at, at Project Repat and they also send you an email when they ship it out so you'll know when your um, when your quilt is on its way back to you and it provides tracking information so that's the great thing about using their label is that you can track um, when it gets there and also when it's on its way back to you um, so yeah I want to say that the lap quilt typically and don't quote me on this may start at $75 when it's not on sale of any kind that's just the flat that's the cost of it but I may be incorrect but um, I believe that's what it is and then the twin is a little more but like I said sales all the time promos all the time um, again this is Marquita for late nights early mornings and it truly is an early morning right now so I'm gonna get ready to um, head to bed but I just want to take a moment to share this with you guys so thank you for watching please make sure that you like and subscribe and drop a comment below if you're doing any spring cleaning or have any projects around the house that you might be working on or you're thinking about working on I have quite a few going on I've already had a trip to Ikea so you already know what that means um, and I will be posting a video at some point with the projects that I've done over this time frame um, over my spring break so I will be putting that together whenever I have finished all the projects and have final products to show again thanks for watching and I'll see you next time